In this video, Arduino library is created to program 16 by 2 LCD. C++ and assembly are used in writing the library. You can watch my previous tutorials where the liquid crystal display was interfaced with 80 mega 328 and 80 mega 8 microcontrollers and programmed in assembly and C++. The 16x2 LCD is interfaced with the Arduino as seen here. The most significant nibble of the data lines are connected to pins D4 to D7 of the Arduino. The enable line is connected to pin D8 and the register select is connected to pin D9. We also have a DHT22 sensor where the output data is connected to pin D10. The folder structure for the created library is shown here within the Arduino libraries folder. We have our library LCD underscore 1602, which has the examples folder and the files needed to create the library, namely the source file, the header file, and the S file that contains the assembly code. This diagram shows the public functions available within the created library. This function here will initialize the 1602 LCD. This function write text has one argument within double quotation we can display text up to 16 characters. Function write byte has two arguments. The first argument determines the type of byte. Is it a command byte or data byte? 0 means command byte, 1 means data byte. And the second argument is the type of command. Here the command is beginning of line 2. So this statement will display this text here while this statement will put the cursor on the beginning of line 2. For our function write byte, if the first argument has a value of 1, it means we are sending a data byte. And the data byte to be displayed is either a number between 0 and 9 or a character. If it's a number, we have to send the ASCII value of the number. So, for example, to display the number 2, we have to add 48 to this value in order to get the ASCII value. Now, we can also use function write byte to write a character within single quotation, as you can see here. Visual Studio Code will be used to create the header file, the source file, the S file, the example sketch, and the keywords file. We begin with the header file which defines the class LCD underscore 1602 that has public members and private members. Inside the public members section we have the constructor which has six arguments indicating the interface of the LCD with microcontroller. There are three methods here which are defined within the source file and the private members are just declaration of variables. So inside the source file after we include our created header lcd underscore 1602 we declare the assembly function prototypes using the extern keyword. We have three declarations of three functions delay short, delay microsecond and delay millisecond. The definition of these functions are found inside the S file where we have subroutines written in assembly. Next we have the definition of the constructor which has six arguments indicating the interfacing of the LCD with the microcontroller using the pin mode function. Next we look at the definition of the public methods. We begin with uh, method initialize LCD which uses the write byte method in order to send command bytes needed to initialize the 1602 LCD. Method write text has one argument which is array of characters and using the while loop and using method write byte we can display up to 16 characters on the LCD. Method write byte has two arguments. The first argument indicates whether we are writing to the command register or to the data register. And the second argument is the byte to be written. 
The code shown here was explained in detail in a previous tutorial. A link to that tutorial is available in the video description. After installing the created library within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at the available example sketches. We begin with this demo sketch which displays text and numbers on the LCD. We include our created library, then we declare this object to the constructor and indicate that the uh, LCD is interfaced to digital pins D4 to D9. Within the setup function, we first initialize the LCD through this function. Inside the loop function, we use function write text to display this text on the first line of the display. And then we use write byte to send a command byte so that we put the cursor at the beginning of the second line. And then we use write text again to display this text on the second line. After a delay of two seconds, we execute write byte to send a command byte that will clear the display. And then write text will display this text on the first line of the LCD. And using this for loop, we will display a count from 0 to 99. At the end of the count, function write byte will send a command byte that will put the cursor at the beginning of the second line and then we use write text to display this text on the second line and then we apply a delay of two seconds and then we clear the display and the process is repeated In this next example sketch, we display temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor. Inside the setup function, we initialize the DHT sensor and then we initialize the LCD. And then we display this intro text on the LCD. We display on the first line this text and on the second line this text. And then after two seconds, we clear the display. Inside the loop function and every two seconds we extract the temperature from the sensor and display the temperature value on the LCD. And then we extract the humidity and then display it on the LCD. In my next video, I will interface the 1602 LCD with IO Expander PCF8574 in order to program the LCD using I2C communication. Thank you for watching.